Hi, my name is Masaki Okamoto, and this is my fifth video in the music series called Minimal Melodic. I have three new pieces of music I'm gonna present to you, and I'm combining the music with the videos from where I live, Wakayama Prefecture, Japan, mostly featuring nature and drive recordings. So the first track here is called Sakura. Sakura is the Japanese name for what's known as cherry blossom in English. I hate the English name. There are some things that I, sh that I think should be called by their Japanese name instead of their bad sounding English one. Sakura clearly is one of them. Anyway, I got some videos of the beautiful flower captured at Dojoji, a famous temple in Hidakagawa town. Dojoji is known for its folklore called Kiyohime, which is the name of a woman who fell in love with a monk on his way to pilgrimage. The monk named Anchin told her to wait until his return from the shrine, but instead of reuniting with her, he went past her village and headed home. Kiyohime began chasing him in rage and eventually found him hiding in a bell at Dojoji. By that time, she had transformed into a giant serpent and burned him dead with the fire from its mouth.
second track is called Processing, and it's about the process of healing after traumatic events. I'm not a psychiatrist or physician, but I think overcoming traumas means you go through a series of complex processing. In the case of mental traumas, that would include decoupling your emotions from the event itself, for example. I was once in love with someone who was engaged with another person. She and I were infatuated with each other briefly, but she eventually made up her mind and left me subsequently. I got depressed after that, but I got over it. send a shout out to you if you suffer from COVID or have those close to you suffering from it. I want to send a shout out to you if you're hospitalized due to cancer or other kinds of illnesses or if you have lost your job and fallen under pressure financially or if you have been a victim of traffic and other kinds of accidents like the recent tragedy in Taiwan. Please know that the world needs your recovery to keep enjoying the precious gifts only you can give. Aside from that, I want to say that the world is experiencing a divisive time such that there have been attacks due to racial hatred against Asians in America. I hope that as members of humanity, we will all stand together and harness our love and resilience to move the world forward.
Inspiration of Fear is a reference to terrorism. As the author Yuval Noah Harari says in his writings, the goal of terrorists is to plant fear in the minds of the enemy, who will then misuse their power to cause damage to themselves. Such was what it was like for the US in Iraq and Afghanistan after 9-11, if I'm not wrong. Furthermore, it's always those with very little military power who resort to terrorism as a means to change the status quo. I guess the word inspiration usually means being stimulated to do something brilliant or heroic, but here I meant inspiration as being stimulated to make errors and harm ourselves. Composer Karl Heinz Stockhausen once described the 9-11 attacks as the greatest work of art. Now, I don't go to the extent where I'm using such a provocative expression and hurting people's feelings, but I do think terrorism is another military tactic which is on the same spectrum as any other. So I think it's important for us to understand it with a careful and relevant analysis so we can at least reduce the conditions in which such acts will make sense.
Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video too.